Hey everybody, it's Brady here with Broke Box Breakers. And if this is your first time checking out our channel or you've been here for a while, I just want to say thank you very much to each and every one of you. If you don't mind and you haven't already, please subscribe. If you like the content today, give us a like. And if you see something worth commenting on, go ahead and do that too. What we've got today is the 2024 Topps Chrome Cosmic Baseball. I'm really excited to get into this product. From what I've seen, all the cards look really clean. They've got a great fun look to them, kind of reminiscent to kind of like the 90s metal versions uh, mixed with some of the other stuff. It's going to have a good look. There's fun inserts. There's some fun stuff to chase. We should get one nucleus per box. But I've also, when I went shopping yesterday, I went to some garage sales and I found some junk wax. So if you guys want to stick around at the end of the video, I pulled a couple of the packs that I got. I'm just going to open them up for a little bit of fun, let you guys get a look, maybe relive some of that nostalgia with me. Onto the box today, though. There are going to be 20 packs in this box, four cards per pack. Like I said already, we should get one nucleus per box. I've seen some people pull in two. I wouldn't be upset about that. The nucleus have a really fun look to them. There's not a whole lot to show on the outside of the box here. So I'll try and give you guys just a quick look and then we'll get into it. We'll keep it rolling as we, get, as we go. Planetary Pursuits, Supernova. So there's some stuff to look for in here. Top Spaceball's been solid for us. Top Spaceball has been real solid for us. We've had a lot of fun with it. If you haven't checked out the video already, I've had a little bit of luck with the baseball. I pulled a Paradisha one of one on the Bowman Sapphire. I did not realize it was bigger than a Superfractor at the time, but it's actually got a harder hit rate than the Superfractor. Good player, too. What a cool that was. Mm -hmm. So if you haven't checked out that video, go ahead, check it out. Finish this one first, though. It's got his Buckeye Red on today. It's Scarlet, big, sorry. Big sports day. Ohio State 2 playing Oregon number 3 in college football. And then we got the Guardians playing the Tigers, 2-2 two -two in the series right now. Massive game in Cleveland today. Yep, so a chance to move on in the postseason for the Guardians. We got a good sports day. We're in what I like to think of right now as kind of the trifecta of sports. We've got MLB in the postseason. We've got NBA in the preseason. And we've got NFL right in the heart of it. So it's a good time to be a sports fan. If you're watching this video, you're probably a baseball fan, but let us know if there's anything else you've really been getting into or any other sports you've been enjoying this time of the year. And then, without much more ado, let's get that first pack magic. Good, Brady. Your NFL team's one and four like Brady and mine are. You might be looking to some other sports for, for some entertainment. That's true. I don't know if I'm going to be watching any of the Browns anymore. <laughs> I got a good excuse to not watch them tomorrow. So, right off the bat, we got a rookie card. You love pulling the rookies. I'm going to pass these off to David. I got David with me in the sleeving factory. Adam couldn't be here today. He's got to work. We actually got this box yesterday. We couldn't get together. We didn't know it got delivered until a little bit later. And that happens sometimes. All right, so our first sensor is the Star Command. Greg Maddox. And I really like the look of that. I just think these are really neat. Perez. Maddox and the Cubbies here. I know, but Braves, of course. David does a lot of our baseball videos. He knows a little bit more than I do, but we're both so amateurs. So it's a team effort. It is a team effort. If you guys see anything we don't know, shout it out. Let us know, please. Bobby Witt. We know a little bit about him. We know a little him. bit about Bobby He's Witt. Beast. We've pulled some good Bobby Witt cards. Check out a video of a massive poppy whip pull that we had earlier. I'll go ahead and link that one in the uh, video up top. Okay. Junior Camino. Camino. God, I cannot say that right. Tongue twister right now. Astrologically aligned. Again, I just think these have a really good look to them. I like these lines on the side. I think they look a little funky, but they do help you tell if it's centered a little bit better, I believe. So I don't think that's a bad thing. Tops makes good cards. They have a lot of experience at it. It shows with quality. Tops does make good cards. We've, overall, I'd say Tops quality control has been a little bit better than Panini in about the little over a year we've been doing these. And I'd say that's holding true today. 
They do a better job of incorporating game use material too. Less napkins. Ooh, okay. White hole. I believe this is a rare one. I don't know what the pack count is on this one. But the white hole. That's probably our first decent hit so far. I'll bring a couple of these inserts back in so you can get a look at them as we continue to get through here. This guy, yeah, we're bringing that white hole. You play baseball at all growing up, Brady? I did play baseball growing up until uh, I got partway through middle school. Lewis Robert Jr. into the Cosmos. Again, I really Those like the sharp. looks of these. A little astronaut up top floating around. Outer space. The stardust yeah. in the background. Really cool cards. I played until about middle school. I always had pretty good eye-hand coordination. So I played in the outfield, um, and I was a hitter. I could hit the heck out of a ball. I stopped playing because my brother played soccer. We ended up both doing travel soccer. It was easier, I think, on my parents for us to both play the same sport on the same teams. And I wish I would have stuck with baseball, to be honest. It's a lot more fun to play than to watch, in my opinion. Kind of like soccer in that front. I like playing soccer. Can't stand to watch it on TV. It just drags on a little bit for my taste. Baseball is something you can play as an adult, too. The softball leagues and you can stay active. Football, not so much. Goodness. That's a cool looking card too. I'm, you're probably going to hear me say that's a cool looking card a million times because I think these are all really cool looking cards. But the other good thing I do like about baseball is you can throw on a baseball game in the background and just let it rip, almost like golf. I mean, I, I'm not a person who knows every single thing that's going on. I'm trying to watch more baseball and get more into it. Again, now as an adult, watched a little bit more as a kid, but... It's nice that you can throw it on and go about your day or have something else you're doing. Gunnar Henderson. Huh? Nice. Got Ellie. Extraterrestrial talent. Nice. Ellie De La Cruz. David's boy from the Cincinnati Reds. He's built like a power forward, yet he is the fastest player in baseball. A true freak of nature. A true freak of nature. I think if you're playing professional sports, you're pretty much a freak of nature in some capacity or another. He's a freak of nature among freak of nature. <laughs> He's built different. The freak of all freaks. Yes, sir. Furman. Okay, so here's our nucleus. The sharp pattern. Oh, yeah, and it's a rookie. I do think this kind of looks like the scope cards you get from Panini with those circles in the background. Man, that is a really fun look. And again, for the rookie, so nice. you're never going to be upset about that. Anytime you're pulling rookie cards, you're happy. Anytime you're pulling good rookie cards, you're really happy. Now, we're not guaranteed an auto in here. My understanding is the autos have a pretty low hit rate. They're about Colton Kowser. Nice. They're about one per four boxes, and there's 12 boxes per case. So you're looking at, oh man, that's got to be numbered. Is that the gold to 50 maybe? Galactic greatness. Oh, help me out here. Yep, right up there in the top left hand. And they hit it, didn't they? 33 of 50. That is hard to see. 33 of 50, Galactic Greatness. All right, our first numbered card out of here. We'll move Pujo's out. We'll get that one back in here. And we'll bring in our alley. Put him front and center. So I'm not expecting an auto from this today. We have had some good auto pulls before. I mean, we've had some... Really good auto pulls before. We've had a Paul Skeens auto. Two of them. Two, auto, two of them. Gunnar Henderson auto. Bobby Witt auto. Wyatt Langford. Wyatt Langford. Nasty, nasty. We've we've pulled some heat when it comes to baseball. One of my favorites would be the George Brett that we pulled. The George Brett from our museum. That, really. that was a cool one. Our museum rip turned out, we thought, pretty good. When you get the man on the box with a low number card, it feels cool. It was a bat piece, and it was probably one of the coolest cards we've pulled. It's got to be top three. You compare 
a piece of a game used bat from Hall of Famer to the napkins you get from Panini. It's a night and day difference. Absolutely. That's what it means to collectors like us. You want the nostalgia, you want the memorabilia, you want it to be authentic. Into the cosmos. Man, I do really like these inserts. I think these are probably my favorite inserts from any set that I've done in the last year. And I don't say that lightly. I've liked a lot of the different products. We've done a lot of Panini, basketball, football, baseball, you know, some of the different tops products, but this product just hits different for me for some reason. I'm going to pull some Guardians, Brady. It's yeah, their what big I, day. What am I pulling some Guardians? Some big Guardians. If we're going to do it, that's what you got to do. You got to hope for, you know, maybe a nice Ellie level card. Well, let's get that gold back in. Forgot about the gold for a second. We'll bring the Nucleus back in here, too. Now, I did see there's some die cuts you can get in this set, too, and I thought those looked really neat. I wouldn't mind getting one of those in hand. Man, I watched a break of these last night, laying in bed, and uh, the guys were ripping through these packs so quick and just... I'm like, oh, God. These guys are machines. I mean, if, they, if those were my cards they were handling, I would have been stressing out a little bit. Made me sweat just watching them. I get you trying to get through it quick so you can get your money and get on to the next sale, but come on, guys. Have a little bit of respect for the product. Have a little bit of respect for the people's product you're handling. Well said. I do you like this Barry Larkin that you just pulled? The 1995 NL MVP for my Cincinnati Reds. There you go. Take it with the facts from the back. Now, ooh, okay. Here's our dark die cut. I just mentioned those. Oh, my God. And it's a Shohei? Holy cow, let's go, Brady. All right, let's see if I can get my hands on this. He's got a really good translator, the best translator in the game. Give uh, us a big one. Is he's also numbered? a really good money manager. I don't believe this is going to be numbered. <laughs> Launched into orbit, Shohei Otani. That is cool. Of all the people I would have wanted to get on that card, that might be the one. That's a good pull for me, at least. I think that's a really good pull. Super cool. Really good quality, too. And if you're getting good quality on a die cut, that's saying something. We got some color in here, I think. It's hard to tell, though, because... Well, because of the inserts. They've got a little bit of color in different areas. Yeah, that's a nasty pull, Ray. Young Hu Lee. Extraterrestrial. Okay. Nope, we did have some color. Three of 75. Green, three of 75. Nico. Nico! Where's that die cut? Let's bring him back in here. Shohei, I think. Yeah, you got a Shohei Otani on the uh, Sapphire as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, surprise too. It sold way higher than I would have expected to, but people love Shohei yes. for understandable reasons. He is a stud. If the winning bidder's watching, we'd love for you to pay. So <laughs> that oh. happens on eBay way too often. You get such a good price on these auctions, and then the buyer just ghosts you. Now they get a better price somewhere else. Yep. It's the refractor. We're getting down to it. One, two, three, four, five packs left. Very good job so far. That is Tony's nasty. Yeah, I mean, I'm not upset with this set so far. Like I said, I would really be excited if we got an auto, but I'm not expecting it. We got our nucleus already. Now this is Sky in the Night, Stars in the Night. I can't remember what the name of the sensor it is. I believe it's somewhat inspired by the Starry Night from Van Gogh. Yeah, it doesn't say on the back. Something, something on Stars to the Night. I can't remember off the top of my head. Shout out in the comments. Give me a little reminder here, please. Sometimes you get in the seat and everything that you think you know just goes right out of your head. I mean, you feel like you're prepared and you start talking and ripping and getting caught up in the moment and you forget things that you know you should know, things that you know you do know. Wyatt Langford on the extraterrestrial. We've gotten a decent amount of those extraterrestrials. 
Some good ones too, though. That Ellie was extraterrestrial. Who's still got a team in the postseason? How much longer do you think you're going to be there? I think the Guardians can do it today. I think they can do it. You got Reds Nation rooting for you. We've been out of it for quite a while. Well, so we're getting some of those other Ohio votes today, it seems like. Ohio United. Ohio against the world, as they said. Feels like that sometimes. Those Guardians. Star Command. Je Je Zach Wheeler. Can I really like the Star Command? Okay, we got another numbered one. It's a 199. 121 to 199. Man, I really like these. This is favorite, my favorite set that I have ripped so far in the last year, a little over a year that we've been doing this. I mean, these cards are beautiful. I don't know if I said it already. They're reselling right now around 400 bucks online. If you want a box, I don't think that's a terrible price point for some of the stuff we've been seeing. Obviously, it's always hit-based, but I don't think 400 is bad for a fun, amazing-looking set. Last pack, Magic. Yeah. Let's see what we've got. Let's go, Brady. Bring it home. Anything? Okay, we got another one of those die cuts. Corey Sager. It's kind of like a raindrop shape. Look at that. Yeah, raindrop, teardrop. I'm crying because it's so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Gorgeous card. I'll give it a little review here. And then, like I said, I'm going to open up some of these uh, Junk Arrow Wax cards that I found at a garage sale yesterday. Stick around if you want to. But I loved this set. I don't know how many times I said it during this video. I think it's awesome. Great looking cards. The quality is really, really good. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if a fair amount of these 10. I don't think we're going to send a bunch in for grading, but we'll probably send a couple in. And they look good, man. I mean, what a set. To 50 on the Galactic Greatness. The Ellie with the Extraterrestrial. That's a good looking card. Really fun one. Great young player. We didn't see any Paul Skeens. A little disappointed by that. I know he had some in this set, but what are you going to do? You're not going to hit them all. So I, I really like this set. For the price, I don't think it was terrible. I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 for me personally. Great quality, not a terrible price, a fun rip, a good amount of cards, and they're great quality. 9 out of 10 for me. If you guys are signing out, thank you. Please like, subscribe, and comment. If you're not signing out, let's see if we get anything fun in here. Now, when I look these up online, they were reselling for about... Two to five dollars a pack from what I could see. We'll start off with the 1992 Top Space Ball. This one does not have the pack of gum. This one does have the pack of gum. We'll see if it's still edible. Let's send that pack of gum into a PSA. See if we can get Jim Bill. Get a Jim Bill on that gum? Jim <laughs> Bill on the gum. Now they seal these a little bit differently. I've not opened one of these in years. So I'm trying to do it respectfully. But it's a little bit hard. They did these funky. I can see why it's even harder for cards to have uh, gemmed out of these, aside from just the massive, massive print runs. Where did you snag these guys, Ray? I snagged these at a garage sale in town. I was taking my dog for a walk, and then I was like, oh, I'll get him some food. Drove, saw, saw a yard sale, and I've always have been wanting to do it to stop and see if I could find some sports cards. Oh, nice. We got the trophy down there in the bottom, too. Luis Gonzalez, Tops All-Star Rookie. That's actually not a bad pull. I believe those demand a little bit more of a premium. I'm not super versed in the junk wax. I just bought these because I thought it'd be fun. There were some football cards too. Check out our Instagram. I took a picture of everything I bought. But I just think that... Uh, I just thought it'd be fun. Fun to rip some of these older cards. So yeah, I found the garage sale and... The guy had it all laid out. The last place that I looked, packed away in the corner. And I said, what do you want for all of it? Ended up being about seven boxes. Roger Clemens. That's a blast from the past. 
the star card too. He's, you could always pull some really cool rookies too. For sure. The guy charged me 150 for everything. I got about seven boxes, a few of the small uh, score sets. So, I mean, I didn't think that was a bad deal. I still don't think it was a bad deal. I've seen other people say they got things for cheaper, but, you know, for me, it's not always, am I getting the best price? Sometimes it's just, can I have the most fun? And I'm going to have a lot of fun ripping into these. This is honestly probably going to be something I uh, take my favorite set out of these and maybe go ahead and start building a junk era set. You can do that pretty cheap these days. I mean, you can see how many cards I just got for $150. Seven boxes, pretty much. Almost full. Two of them sealed. Now, do you think they'd still honor this? <laughs> the scratch to match for winning. <laughs> Only one way to find out. We'll see. Maybe I'll uh, try and do it and send it in. Now what we, companies is from Tops? Eh? Yeah, still business? Tops. yeah, exactly. You never know. Different ownership. Thriving. Yeah, again, back on top too. Tops is on top again. Tim Bolton. And I did like baseball growing up, like I said. So I don't recognize all of these players, but I might recognize more of them than I do some of the modern ones. Well, at least before the last year, I would not have known any of the current baseball players. Now I know a fair amount. I'm getting better. Do the 89 tops. Now this one's got the bubble gum in it. You want the gum, Dave? I think I'll pass. You said I'll pass. Yeah. If any of you want a nice piece of bubble gum, Ooh, give me a shout. Still in good shape. Yeah, I mean, it's just got a little bit of brown on it. The edges are okay. <laughs> so you said 89? <laughs> yep. That gum's been on this earth as long as we have, Brady. You yep. love to see it. 89, babies. Ah, oh, man, you put that right on the top's all star rookie, too. That stinks. You think that they would grade this with the gum <laughs> attached? Does that increase the value? Yeah, heck, the slab it comes back. Yeah. Decrease the value? That would be, be interesting. Boys. I and mean, just have it authenticated, maybe. Just Mel gum Hall. Away. Indians. Great on the gum now, away. we can't say Indians anymore. It's Guardians now. Yeah. Yeah, I think, I think I'm going to be building one of these junk wax sets. I love the look of these just vintage cards. I really it's either do. Either eighty nine or ninety, you can get Griffey rookies. Yankees, a couple Yankees in a row. I mean, this is nostalgia right here. This is classic tops. Look at these things. This is what I think of when I think baseball cards. Frank Robinson, manager. Just the classic portraits. Some of them swinging. Doing their thing. Just men. Straight up men. Back when you could get into all kinds of crazy stuff. Google uh, Babe Ruth's diet if you have some time. He had a really healthy breakfast he would eat every morning. Just <laughs> a completely different time. It's, it's unreal. Like the, the nutrition guidance that people were given back then compared to what's available these days. Mark Grace with the top all-star rookies. Pretty good looking, too. Pretty good shape. Centering's not bad. Mark Grace rookie. That could be a solid one. Yeah, I'm going to have to look some of these up after the fact. But, man, I just really like the look. I like that classic look. And, you know, if they try to redo this look again today... It just wouldn't be the same. You see him trying. Man, another one of those. Chris Sabo from the Reds. There nice. You go, Dave. That's a nice one. All-star rookies. This is fun for me. We also, I did get a pack or a box of the 1991 Upper Deck Sealed with the chase for Michael Jordan. I was a huge Michael Jordan fan growing up. That was my personal collection. He's pretty much the only player I really had a went out and bought a bunch of cards for. So if I could get a Michael Jordan short print out of that 91 upper deck, I'm going to be excited. And I think I'm going to do a video for that box. Let us know in the comments if you'd be interested in seeing that. Subscribe. That way you get alerts when we do post it eventually. Just got to wait until we get a bit of time to get everyone together here. Oh, pull two there. I like it. 
Bill Doran. Now, we did have one professional baseball player out of our town. We're from Zanesville, Ohio. So if anyone remembers Jay Payton, that was one of our local guys. Him and David are alumni from the same high school, Zanesville High School. Yeah, his Mets were in the Subway Series against the Yankees. Now, my brother sent us a picture last night of an autographed Jay Payton card he got when we were kids. And there was an error on the back saying he was from Zoomsville. <laughs> I thought that was hilarious. It took me about five times looking at that card before I saw it. I don't think it really increases the value, but I thought that was pretty funny. Zoomsville. He visited my elementary school, and I had him sign a napkin. I wish I had a card on me. At the time. <laughs> I'm on fifth grade, Dave. You should have had it on you. Hey, what are you going to do? You still got that napkin, though? Sure don't. Oh, uh, come on, Dave. On. Come on, Dave. Yeah. Learned many lessons the hard way over the years. Jay Payton and having a pretty decent career. I believe he went to Georgia Tech to play college, played with a couple other first round picks. He ended up beating Jay Payton was drafted in the first round, the NFL draft. Our local high school baseball field is named after him, the baseball complex. So okay. He's a legend. Of them, uh, legend around here at least. Give us a shout out if anyone else remembers Jay Payton. It's always fun to hear people talk about stories from players that we've got some kind of a connection to. The only other professional athlete I can think from our town would have been a basketball player. If any of you guys are basketball fans, Kevin Martin. It's the last pack for just this junk wax rip. See, Kevin Martin lost to me at horse, and that really fueled his motivation for his career. I take all the credit. Sixth grade Dave, he knew all the angles in the driveway of what shots I needed to shoot. Beat him in a game of horse. He wanted to rematch. I said, absolutely not. We're done. I think he still owes you a portion of his original NBA contract for that, right? Talk later, Kevin. I know you're busy. (laughs) He is a part owner in a team in Australia. Is he really? Australian basketball team. I didn't know that. That's interesting. Shout out to our subscriber from Australia that commented recently. It's so cool that we've reached all over the world. What do you think about it? I mean, we see some people watching our videos from all over the United States to different parts of Asia. And uh, like David just said, someone commented on our video saying they were from Australia. And I, I, we all thought that was awesome. There we go. King Griffey Jr. Nice. Is that a rookie? I don't. So what year is that? 92? This is 92. Okay. So that would be, that's still we good. Gotta, we're going to see if I'm up anyway. You got to respect the guy, you know. The kid. The legend. I wish he had stayed healthy with the Reds. It was such a big deal when he came to Cincinnati and. What could have been if the injury bug hadn't bitten him? That's kind of a cool one. How it's like a drawing. Man. This is nostalgia, guys. This is this is what you get into the hobby for. Just some of those good old feels. Oh, a little sticker. A little ace sticker. That's cool. Wegman. Wow, two bills, back to back. <laughs> that's junk wax, up. baby. That's junk. <laughs> that's junk wax. Tell me that wasn't overprinted. Yeah. All right, everybody. It's sad that these are in better condition than some of the boxes we buy from Panini, isn't yeah. it? Actually, some of these are in better condition. <laughs> it's, it's not a joke. That's it for today, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the review of the little bonus content there at the end with the junk wax. If you'd like to see anything more like that, let us know. If there's anything else you'd like to see us rip in the future, let us know. We're always looking for good ways to provide decent comment content for you all. So until next time, happy box breaking and pack ripping to each of you. Thank you.